Hi and welcome to C programming for Arduino a step by step guide. The terms define and declare are entirely different. To illustrate this difference, let's take a simple definition of an integer variable named val. When the compiler sees this statement, first it checks the statement for syntax errors. If it finds one, then an error message is displayed at the bottom of the compiler window. However, because the statement is incorrect, the compiler then moves to the next phase of the compile process. After checking for errors, if the compiler does not find any error, then the next step causes the compiler to scan its symbol table to determine whether this variable is already present in the program. This is the symbol table and it shows that two of the variables are already defined. The ID column stands for identifier and is the name for each defined variable. This column shows the data type of these defined variables. Both variables have a scope level of 0 which we will discuss shortly. The L value column presents the memory address of where each variable resides in the memory. An L value refers to the memory location where a particular data item resides in the memory. Therefore, the L value for a data item is the memory location where that item is stored. For L value to make sense, consider what happens after the compiler has determined that our statement to define well as a variable is syntactically correct. The next thing the compiler does is check to see if you have already defined a variable named well. If you had, then there would already be an entry in the symbol table for variable well. If that were the case, then you would get a duplicate definition error for variable well. Because there is no definition for well at this point, there will be no error and compiler proceeds to the next phase. So far, the symbol table now looks like this. It is important to note that the L value for well is still unknown. That is, well doesn't have a dedicated place to live in the memory yet. Still, because there is no duplicate definition error, the compiler sends a message to the operating system which we can assume in our case is some version of Windows. In essence, the compiler sends a message to Windows that says, Hey Windows, it's me, Arduino. My programmer needs two bytes of free memory. Can you fulfill my request? At that point, Windows hands the message over to the Windows Memory Manager, who then scans its list of available free memory and likely finds two free bytes somewhere. We will assume the free memory it finds resides at a starting memory address of 20200. The Windows Memory Manager returns a message to the Windows with a 20200 memory address. Windows then sends a message to Arduino which says, Hey Arduino, it's me, Windows. You can use the two bytes of free memory starting at memory address 20200. At that point, the compiler changes the symbol table and the updated table now has the L value for our variable well. Note what has happened here. We now have a memory address where the new variable well lives. You have defined variable well because it has a known memory address or L value. Therefore, we can say that a data item is defined if and only if it has a known L value in the symbol table. A data definition means you can locate a variable using its L value. A data item is declared if it exists in the symbol table but does not have an assigned L value. A data declaration is nothing more than an attribute list for a data item. That is, data declarations for a data item tell you its ID, its type and its scope level. But it does not exist in the memory. Data declarations are mainly used for type checking purposes. We can depict the L value with a simple diagram as shown. It reflects the state of this symbol table. That is, variable well has been defined because it has a known L value and therefore exists in memory. Notice that we have the R value marked with a question mark. The reason is because the R value or register value is used to denote what is actually stored at the L value's memory location. The R value is what is stored at a data item's L value or its memory location. Because C is not required to initialize a non-static data item's R value to 0 or any other particular value when it is defined, 
we should always assume that our data item contains whatever random bit pattern may exist at its L value until a value has explicitly been assigned into the data item. Because of this fact, we show the R value for val as a question mark. It contains whatever the junk happens to be at its L value. Note that L value stands for location value and R value stands for register value. Let's take an example. This statement assigns value 10 into variable val. Again, this is a simple statement involving a single expression, but the compiler will perform the whole process we discussed previously. Let's revise the complete process and see how value 10 is assigned into variable val. First, the compiler must check the statement for syntax errors. No problems there. So it will move to the next step. Next, the compiler must go to its symbol table to see if a variable named val exists. Again, everything looks fine because val is in the symbol table. While scanning it also makes sure variable val has a valid L value. If value is already defined and you again define it, then it gives duplicate definition error. If the L value column was empty, the compiler would know this is a data declaration and the variable is not yet defined. It should be clear that a variable that is not defined cannot have a value assigned into it. However, because variable var has a valid memory address assigned to it as discussed previously, the compiler can now process the assignment statement to assign the R value. To process the assignment statement, the compiler goes to the data items L value in the memory and copies the value on the right hand side of the assignment statement into the two bytes of memory at the L value memory location. This means that the R value is changed to 10. Note that any time your program needs to use the data stored in variable val, it must do simple table lookup to find variable val's L value. Go to that memory address and fetch integer bytes of data from that memory location. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Take care and goodbye.